So towards the middle of our trip, we were done with the school portion, so we graduated. Buenos dias, amiga. Nosotros los vamos a hablar sobre los animales en peligro de extinción. Um, mi animal es tucán. El tucán se distingue por su pluma de so now that the learning portion part of the trip was done, we were able to do some sightseeing and do some fun things. So the first thing we did was a coffee tour. And if any of you know me, you know that I love coffee. Just like from home? Yeah. <laughs> sorry, yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, you are a very lucky group. We have coffee flowers, you see? The coffee flowers only live three days. After that, it dies, falls onto the soil. So we're here at the coffee place, and here they have like the different seeds for coffee. You can see it's in its early stage here. And it's kind of cool to see where you have to you get your morning coffee and where it comes from. Here's a little like a map of like the circle of how it's produced. Here's more plants. Oh here. There are coffee beans. See? Yeah, they are seeds. Okay, friends, uh, welcome to heaven. This is how heaven smells like. Also, that um, the next day we went to Serapiki River, and on the way there we saw a wonderful waterfall, and we saw the mountains. And this is the time where we really saw a lot of landscape from Costa Rica, and it was just really just beautiful. The waterfall was I don't know, I don't know how long it was, but it was just so beautiful and I got a cute picture in front of it of course you know I had to take that but it was just really cool just to see like this is their custom like people live by the waterfall and it was just cool Shaking twigs. Come out the water. 
just finished with the boat tour and now we're shopping in the town. About to get some more souvenirs. It's kind of cool. I'm trying this chicken. Come on, do the first taste. First taste. Do it. Do it. Wow. Yes, come on. Do first taste. Let me get a piece. <laughs> so when we went to Serapiki River, we finally got to stay at a hotel. Now the hotel was in the middle of a rainforest. And literally when we woke up, the howler monkeys woke us up. Legit. Like, no joke. We were woken up by howler monkeys. It was 5 o'clock in the morning and we would hear them just yelling. But it was really cool, like, how many people can say that they were woken up by howler monkeys? I don't know, but I'm able to say that. And the hotel was so spacious, it was four people to a room, and I got my own bed. Everyone got their own bed because it was so spacious. And it was just cool because we were able to walk along and see, like, they had trees and leaves everywhere because it was in the middle of the rainforest. So we made it to the They're hotel. So and it's pretty nice. We got double sinks here. It's not like the ones in the United States. Uh, we got these beds. We each get our own bed, so that's cool. So, see Mr. Rios in the cut. <laughs> It's really nice. Hey guys. So today we're going to be doing zip lining and and a chocolate tour so i'm really happy about that because this is my first time zip lining so it's gonna be cool so i'll be got i'll be sure to show you guys that i probably won't be able to show you like myself on the sublime because i don't want to drop my phone but you know so i'll show you guys tour was phenomenal. The pineapples taste so different there in Costa Rica. It's a more sweeter taste and it was just delicious. What happened? <laughs> I want that pineapple the, the core. Of the, the core of this? Let's see. <laughs> you scared me. I'm stressing. Mario, I'm going to go to the last one. Yes. Can I do the Claro, que todas las todas todas tú las pichas las piñas ya, haciendo la verdad. Oye, pues que yo soy muy serio, todo, pero ya está segunda vez de la vara. So, also while we were there in Costa Rica, we took a chocolate tour. Now, the chocolate tour, I wasn't too big of a fan of it because some of the stuff was disgusting. We had they showed us like fermenting from the cocoa beans. And it just smelled disgusting. But after those parts, we were able to taste the chocolate. See, that was my favorite part, to taste All that. We had to go across this 290-foot bridge that was in the middle of the ocean. Not the ocean. It was a river. And the waterfall was feeding into this river. And it was so crazy because... The you'll see the that the railing was wasn't too sturdy, and if you fail, like <laughs> you're gone. So it was really cool though. So you'll see it. This is one of the longest suspension bridges in Costa Rica. This is 264 meters long. It goes over the Sarapiqui River. Can you get it for me? It 
to send it so we have some safety instructions. So I need, okay, everybody, I need you to go there. 90 feet bridge. And you can see like the water under me. And it's pretty cool. Some people are scared, but honestly, it's kind of cool to me. It's breathtaking, like. this vlog and I hope to catch you later subscribe like and share with everyone you know